I need, I need more of a fog machine up here. <laughs> and a smoky bar thing, you know? <laughs> Alright, we, we went through and asked some people some random questions in the audience. And um, Sam is here and had a question for you, Matt. I think it's a pretty safe question. Wanted to know how old were you when you started singing? Um, 16, I think. 16, yeah. 16? That's when I recorded my first little song. I was a drummer and they uh, came back and I did a talent show. And uh, one of my mentors, uh, he was like, you got to sing in the church town. So I was like, I don't like to sing. Uh, and like, I finally did. And I remember one dude was like, John Boy can sing! <laughs> 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 and, uh, I didn't even play drums as much after that. So <laughs> they never let me do it again. But yeah, that's the first time. Do you remember the first song, what it was? Uh, this song was Christian Tune by FFH. I can't remember that song. Really? It was a long time ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, that was one of the other questions that we had. I think it was from Cindy. Because Cindy said, um, what is your favorite contemporary Christian or worship song? I would really take the new Michael W. Smith and New Hallelujah, one of his newer songs. I'm always, I'm always going to like Michael W. Smith fans. <laughs> well, Faith had a question that some of you might know. Um, but a lot of us don't. What made you go out for American Idol? I was actually playing in the piano bar and uh, a friend of mine came up and said he was taking his daughter to audition in like two days. And I was like, oh, really? And he was like, yeah, it's a birthday, pre it's a birthday present. <laughs> and I, I knew his daughter, her name was Bradley. She's a sweetheart. And she's right here. Stand up. Come on, Bradley. And uh, say hi, Bradley. Give us the reason why. So you, you tried out for Idol. Yes. So you should be up here with them. That's good. She can't do that next year. We're going to do a little concert again. You know? No, she's a very sweet girl. And we actually went down together and, uh, and we auditioned and had a blast. And uh, that was kind of how I went. I asked her, I was like, can I come down? Please? <laughs> really? I mean. Uh, Julie wants to just know a random question what your favorite food is. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm a huge Taco Bell fan. <laughs> mild or spicy? Uh, I love Taco Bell. Mild and hot. I like kind of mix them sometimes. Really? Lame. I'm Extreme. I'm a Taco Bell fan. I just, I just, I just, okay, so when you go up... Hi. Pause a second. Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? <laughs> yeah, two gorditas. Uh, a little soft taco magic and cheese. And I'm doing a little mild and hot sauce. Thank you. Thanks for the order. Has anybody ever asked you for your autograph in line at Taco Bell? No. They don't usually, like, I don't know, they'll kind of give me that look after they see my credit card, like, here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're free cinnamon twist or something. I don't know. I'm sorry, this card was denied. Okay. <laughs> sure, we have to take three cards. Well, the good news is there's a Taco Bell about two miles down oh, the road. Oh, after party. There you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's week three will be at Taco Bell tonight. I'll be there. Patty definitely asked if she could have your autograph. Yes, Patty. No I just happened to bring this up here, and I have a pen. All right, well, oh. goodness. Ooh, she just carries yeah. autographs and pens everywhere she goes. It's a bad thing. It's with an I, P A T T I. P A T T I. Spelling. We told you we'd take care of you. Good for Ted. You have friends on high stages. <laughs> All right, Matt. Uh, we had a question: your most embarrassing moment on stage. Besides this. Besides moment. this one, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, tour was the worst. I had so, so many bad moments on stage. Tour was like the best thing, but like they'd like to play pranks on people. Uh, one night I walked out and I had like an eight second solo. You know, it was for the uh, begging, begging you. And I go out there and I got my microphone back behind the stage. And I had to stand there in place. I knew the spotlight was going to hit me and I did not have a microphone. There's nothing I could do. So I turned around and started lip syncing. Like, <laughs> and all of a sudden, like the background singer kind of cut in, so people actually just thought that I had a microphone problem. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> take me back. And then one time, the band actually, you know, on the tour, I used to like, in the middle of Georgia, I'd take my fedora off, and I had it here, and I'd put it on my head, and uh, I'd put it on my head, and uh, one night they super glued it to the piano. <laughs> <laughs> so I got done with my first song, kind of moved my hand, like, <laughs> you know, they just, they just count us. I think I was the one to steal on that. <laughs> it's too funny. What is your favorite song to play on the piano besides Georgia? Do you have a favorite? <laughs> I really don't know. That's a really hard question. Uh, Who asked that one? Ashley asked that. Ashley. Such a hard question right there. You rock, Ashley. You stumped them. Sure. One of my favorite songs. You get a gordita. Yeah. Oh my God. Three gorditas for the night. No, um, oh, oh. 
Okay. Yeah, that's my most embarrassing moment. Okay. All right. Is this guy the real deal? Or 